Hi everybody, this is Docent and today we will do some facts check. I got a save game for a moon rescue mission and with that save game I noticed I have some ship designs. I did not check them yet totally, never saw them, just to be clear. So we will do it one by one. First I will show you mine that I built for the rescue mission and it's somewhere here. Where is my rescue mission? Moon, 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 rescue rangers. This is mine. That's why it has an icon even, yeah? So I did not check them yet and those are stuck. Oh. Lanty rescue ranger? I left it somewhere here? Okay. Then there are more. <laughs> of mine. I don't really know why I do have them here, but okay. Uh, just to be sure that it's mine. Yeah, rescue ranger. The, yeah, definitely this is mine, but it's, let's delete them. Uh, I think it just remembered from the previous mission that I got and just didn't delete it from the memory. Okay, so this is my ship, yeah? And even it flew without a pilot. It flew with a science officer of office of blah, 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 blah. officer officer. Okay, uh, a scientist. Yeah, let's let's make it <laughs> short. So very sleek design and very capable one. Um, officer. Ah, science officer. Ah, brr, brr, officer. Uh, what am I talking about? Officer. Yes, yeah, science officer. So. Uh, for that we had to rescue Jebediah from the moon using Bob. So that was the duo that came back. But let's just have a quick look. How much Delta V really needed there? We need more or less seven to seven and a half thousand just to have some spare fuel, yes? But this had eight thousand and if you aim in a vacuum for 8,000 meters per second, definitely it's a good design. Yeah, It will be capable of reaching moon and go back. And here we had an extra payload as well in my design because we have a satellite, a relay satellite. As you can see, I used Sputnik, some batteries and some antennas, two to be exact. So we, and of course science, the, um, the colleague that we are currently using this uh, saves, I will put it without any names, uh, didn't have yet any, um, yeah, any um, um, energy uh, devices uh, to, to gain energy, yeah, so only batteries. So, but still, a worth mentioning design as it works. That's the more important, this works. Yeah, as a first relay satellite on the moon, why not, yeah, it works. So this is my go and return lander. It didn't work quite well without stability assist, but was capable of doing what was, let's say, planned. It even went better than expected as I needed to be on the side to let the uh, Jeb enter the craft as he had no monopropellant. Uh, this is career, please remember. So whenever you lose monopropellant, you don't have any new one. Unless you are flying. I really don't know how the game is calculating this, but if you are not using engines, the EVA monopropellant doesn't zero out. So if you are in, in stable orbit, go in, go out, go in, go out, and you lose the monopropellant, it's not being regenerated. Really don't ask me why, but it's less OP now, so overpowered if it's happening this way, because you need to watch out on the monopropellant. So big hint for everybody who is watching and is uh, wondering what's happening to him. So yeah, let's go to the moon values. Um, that is what's happening, yeah? If you use your engine, main engine, in any way, it will reset the monopropellant. Odd, but true, yeah? 
So this is uh, how it's uh, being done. Of course, you can, I think, do another thing. You can just save and load, and it also will reset the model propellant if you are in the can. So yeah, I don't know if it's just a bug on my end or it's really true, but so far it looks like it's true that really, um, yeah, you don't have infinite in uh, mono propellant now on crewed missions. That I would say is good because pushing your vessel to low uh, Kerbin orbit using EVA, it was like overpowered solution. So yeah. But let's let's know this and this is a, a good design that works with that low tech this is very important this is very low tech very very low tech okay let's just see how much tech do we have because you may not notice what do we have so what do we have is here only this like i said we had at that point no science because i generated over 600 science points but this would be the next step to unlock the probe core, better probe core, some lights, some better battery, and of course, first photovoltaic panels. This is the, the thing to go there. Of course, advanced uh, power is needed as well for satellites, but this is a secondary thing. I will leave my colleague to decide what he wants to do next because he can use those 700 points first here for much bigger rockets and maybe for a nuclear engine who knows he will have the choice regarding this of course this costs money and as this is you need to know a career to unlock this part you need to extra pay forty-five thousand, and then to use it ten thousand, of course and this is what happens with every part everything costs of course i would suggest him to do a space station on the moon, on the Minmus, using uh, science lab and to get in and get out from the moon and Minmus to the science lab and process the data in there. This is what I would do to get quickly out of the whole tech tree. Yeah. Of course, this takes time to really process all the science that you can gather using one processing lab. I can already tell you it will take like two years. So it's always a speed up, uh, but it's not that fast, yeah? But it's a speed up because uh, the other way is to send multiple probes to Eve, Gili, Ike and Duna and even Moho or uh, yeah, you can also go to Jewel system and Dress and uh, Elo. Yeah, all is possible, yeah? And of course, we are playing the, the communication challenge here on, on the career. So ComSat, you need to have antennas. So what I would suggest doing next is really building the ComSat network. But let's go back quickly. So you know what I built, you know what we are facing. You That's why we have that little parts here. And so we don't have that much to work with. As you can see. Only few things there, no fairings really. Yeah, not that much to go with. Yeah, this is the only relay high gain antenna that we can use, the only relay one. That's why I put it there, a satellite on the moon orbit, so he can use it next time he goes to moon. And of course, we have I have DLCs, uh, both of them, so for me, it's not a problem to use. Uh, I could use this lander from from one of the DLCs, but then it could be like mm, it would be like cheating for everybody who watched the video and said, "Yeah, but I don't have DLC. It's not stock." Blah blah blah. So I used stock version of that. So the lightest one, of course, because this is very heavy, so it, it takes much more of the fuel. Okay, but you know what we are having based on what we are having and what he had having the same option how to go to moon and back. So let's do the first iteration of PIY. Uh, yeah, do, I, do I have this here? I think this is also from the previous save. Okay, let's go for the first lander, Mooner lander. Or maybe, no, no, there was some. Oh, come on. Is it really there? Mm. Okay, it's there, but this is not, well, maybe it's his design. 
really don't know because I used uh, uh, extra save here to just load the game as I could not uh, copy all the data on one time but yeah those are uh, arrow breaks so it's not his design so let's let's not watch it so I think the SpaceX Starship yeah let's kill all of those that have no compatible parts now it should be clean okay so let's do first let's see that unfinished one okay simple staging rocket yeah, everything is good 3.9 so it's capable of reaching orbit and going back okay that's good so we have yearly game rocket here okay we have first the lunar orbiter and the lunar orbiter looks like this okay we have 6000 in total so going to only to orbit and back yeah it's possible if we count that for landing itself we need to have one point like four thousand yeah it's it's a stretch but it's capable stretch yeah so if we calculate this start for the yeah 1.6 tvr for carbon very good tvr 1.5 is more or less the best up to two so very good design for the first stage then 1.0 yeah it's probably at some altitude like maybe few kilometers maybe few it's inefficient at this point yeah if it, this would be here like 1.2 to 1.4 would be much better design yeah so more boosters i would say more more boosters the faster he goes up the better of course that's why i'm thinking this is a good design but not not ideal four boosters would be better but still cheap and affordable yeah uh, definitely flyby uh, of the moon is possible okay let's go further let's go for our first iteration of moon lander i think no this i think it's the first iteration of moon lander so let's go here and it's 5000 as you can see it can land on the moon but it will never go back i'm i'm, I'm worried that it would it would not even land on the moon so this is uh, not enough yeah five meters thousand meters per second no in total it has 2800 so it's uh, circularized on on the caribbean side yes reaching moon doubtful okay let's go with the first iteration that he really marked as uh, moon orbited mk1 so yeah so after his first design ah we did it the wrong way so the moon lander first was the f with 5000 delta v so much much lower this was capable of orbiting moon so he checked and failed and he adapted so good so this is i think the really an orbiter that will really rent to the orbit and back so let's go to the moon lander mk1 it costs more than the first lander so okay you see we have a better design but what I see here is wrong just by starting and of course we need to um, have in mind that he had less tech than he's having now that's very very important yeah less technology that he is having now so maybe just maybe he had no adapters here to have smooth aerodynamic flow so yeah that's the one point of course this one is totally no go it's not needed it doesn't do anything really those yeah there are those are they will work as stability just a little uh, booster is good what else uh, this is the lander so the lander itself let's see how much the lander it has 2000 so it can go up and down that's good the lander has a good delta v but barely going back 7000 already good design uh, the first stage goes also with high and and this those boosters will do the most work but why those decouplers are here this way yeah, it's wrong now we have it correctly yeah 7.5 yeah that's the correct design okay this is definitely landing and coming back yeah good design proper delta v and uh, proper 
proper stats. Yeah, I would go for four landing legs, then three because it's you see, it's the very small triangle, so it's very easy to go sideways. That's also very important if you are landing on anybody without atmosphere. Yeah, the wider uh, the bottom stage, the better. That's just that's just plain physics. Yeah, the taller the vehicle, the easier it will tip and fall on one of the sides. Okay, so we digested this. So I can say already good design, great. Let's see the iterations. Let's see, I saw the breeze of uh, Marklander 1. So it did not reach, or maybe it reached uh, the landing site. It broke two legs, but still work, was capable of coming back. Hopefully, uh, this is what I saw on the on the landing side uh, on the moon. So hopefully, this one was able to go back. But then, of course, uh, okay, let's save this. And then we have the iteration two, for which I came to rescue. So it is much, much uh, higher cost, as you can see from the iteration one, lander one, twice as much. So let's see what do we have here. Oh, overkill. Come on, really. Come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Don't say this. You made less Delta V out of this design and paid double. This is career we are talking about. This is a no-go, total no-go, really, really total no-go. Why? It's very simple. First, you always, if you're doing like this design, you can put the batteries inside. So less drag. That's the first thing I would say here. Uh, you had already here, I think, a service bay, because I was doing rescue after MK2. So you had service bay. So you could use a service bay and put all of those sticking out things away. Uh, I could put here my lander design for the moon early. Yeah, early is design for the moon landing. And but I will show you later. I think it will go with even this tech, hopefully. And that I could rescue, I think, few kerbals. It was much better design. Of course, I wasn't going for science. When I did this rescue mission, I was thinking, yeah, he's doing career. Let's do science for him. This would be much appreciated. I would appreciate it uh, on his level uh, of, of, uh, of the game. Level of the game, I mean here, uh, uh, pro his progress of the game. Yeah, oh, this is better, better uh, um, uh, said. Uh, so this is, uh, yeah. Why do you use that kind of design? This is so heavy and unpredictable. No aerodynamic. It's very stressful to fly this, I would say. Very stressful. So that's the one thing. He's using auto strands. No, he's not using it. So it should be wobbly. Yeah, he used so many strats. You see, auto strats is better. But yeah, you can use uh, strats as well if you are not using auto strats so yeah this is for the second stage so really so many stages to get so little extra payload yeah i don't want to be a bad person but i build it better i really build why do you also have double thermometer and um, um, pro mats barometer yeah you don't need a double you don't need it as well, the mystery guru, you don't need a double. You have a crew command pod. You can go with a, a, a Kerbal scientist down, reset, go up. Yeah, that's it. You could do a ladder here directly down. Why not? That is my question, but let's leave it. This is the design that failed and was stranded on the moon. And I totally get this it didn't have a chance to go back, in my opinion. It has huge uh, TVR to, to land, but you need to remember one thing. Having huge TVR is not uh, always the best thing. 
because this can uh, be good but if you use those engines they were already good for landing yeah why did you use the skipper skipper is inefficient for every landing on a body without atmosphere you look on the ESP in the vacuum so the puddle let's say let's have a look here yeah let's move this around let's use a puddle engine instead boom much better first of all this is keeper the mass is three tons paddle is well, more or less 60 percent of that yeah 55 ish but the esp so efficiency for the fuel flow is huge it's 350 and here it's only 320 those 10 percent makes a difference in like almost 200 meters per second in total yeah that's much if you have that much uh, tvr as we have here let's go to the moon yeah so this is the stage four so stage four here you have six to ten tvr overkill if you would just drop this and drop this first of all you are good but why do you have this as well in this case you really don't need it of course if you need this good great then use it this way take those that fuel from here to here and you have 7.5 still you have good tvr but you have 7.5 of course we can give back this the smallest uh, terrier engine to have just a little more and let's go to the level four yeah what's the next engine here what is this one which is this one yeah you see even staging is wrong messed up a little okay yeah the staging here is totally messed up okay this is everything that's starting here okay good then we are losing this and to, are we start oh yeah we're starting this engine as well okay and we are losing this starting this okay that's good and we are losing this okay then we are starting this but why do we start those engines here we don't need them to start here we need them to start here so the staging was wrong as well you see already with that small changes 8000 uh, and I uh, lost uh, those engines here that were extra weight two tons more weight that we don't need you see 14 del uh, TVR maximum 14 it's like it's still overkill yeah that's why I'm saying it's overkill if we drop this it's 10 still overkill this engine here is just total overkill and now with this design now it's so a uh, huge amount of the delta v that you can really land this thing really land this and without a problem totally without a problem but the better would be if this would be not that flat but it would be like three or four of those yeah and maybe then with the the terrier engines so let's let's have that uh, worth checking so we are at level like here this is uh, yeah where is this stage this, this is the stage uh, this is the one okay this is the one and then this is the one okay so we need to go like here with this engine no not here here so to, to the level three okay so let's think for a second yeah let's just drop this one yeah as we have that let's have it even better way let's have it uh, the opposite way yeah okay and now let's have it even better let's have it like at least four of them okay so we have our lander now it's a good lander you can even lose the legs 
really. It's uh, less drag and of course better landing point. Okay, now we have seven point something, yeah? So it's good already. And we are still on the proper path here for the landing, yeah? And let's see, this is still level, oh, this is level three. Um, yeah, this now will be level three. And as you can see, it has less TVR on level three. No, it has more TVR than needed. But still, it's this engine. And this engine is 0.5. So in total mass, it has more mass and more options. So yeah, still overkill, still overkill. So let's try something else. Let's try to do this this way. And why do we have here a decoupler? Ah, because I grabbed it wrongly. Okay, one second. Let's try to do it this way now. We have it here again properly. Stage three, 2.6 tops, 1.7, 2.6, that's great. But now, of course, we need to have a different design. Let's do this the proper way again 9.1 you can go with this design to the moon to two different even three different biomes and come back this is a design that's worth taking and uh, with just that small yeah corrections and if you really really want to have it very stable and very durable you can use those here extra and just slide them underneath and you have very durable and efficient landing legs because the hitting point here is 80 meters per second so the tolerance for the impact so great if you touch down you are good nothing to do really even you touch down very very hard and of course for you as you do you are as you are doing strands I would suggest doing this. So I will make it MK2A and save it. Of course, you uh, he has the original design, so we don't need to care about this. But let's let's give him this hint. Yeah, good design. That would be much better. Totally much better. And as you can see, you can decouple those. To get more so when you are going back home uh, you will still have the main fuel here and yeah okay let's let's do this what i said so let's put the batteries inside as well yeah that's better more aerodynamic that's one thing here service bay would be much better but let's let's leave it for now and of course having this here as it's yeah it's not that slick and like I said, if you have so many kerbals here, why not to build a ladder? As we can build a ladder, yeah? So let's let's just do it. Boom. Boom. Let's have a ladder. Ah, not that one. <laughs> let's have a ladder really, really, really going there. Yeah? You can do it, oh, come on. You can do it, so you can have it. Okay. And boom, and the last one. So we have a ladder. So you can go up and down to reset the experiments. Can be done? Yes, it can be done, yeah. Okay, as uh, we don't have any other ladder, this must be it. So what else can we do here and what else can we do about this? Not that much, because it's already enough. And of course, as we are then killing the, those tanks, we will not have too much power. And of course, we need to remember to remove monopropellant to be lighter, my friends always remember that 
And as he's playing carry here, I would definitely give him an extra either EVA pack or he doesn't have yet any extra EVA fuel, so this must be it. Okay, so this is what it is. This is how I would see this redesigned. Okay, let's go to Mark III because maybe it's much better. It's definitely much uh, not cheaper. It's it's more expensive. So let's see. This is what he did for Mark III, and still you see the staging is off, totally off, not efficient. More engines, come on. More TVR at the end. Why do you need that? It's, you need you really need two, three TVR tops, not more. If you drive lander for multiple uh, places, you even need to go and kill the engines to be less like here and then give them trust lower. Yeah. More engines doesn't mean more efficiency. You saw the two point. Uh, sorry, the MK2A. I used less and gained more. That's a tip for you. Okay, let's go. And it was cheaper as well. Lighter and cheaper. This is more expensive. And you are playing career. You need to remember that. That money is here. Very important. So that's uh, important to know. Yeah, so 2.8. Where is the 2.8? You see, I made it cheaper and it lasts longer in space so you can land multiple times that's the important part here okay let's go to mk4 more more expensive starting stage great <laughs> let's go calculate this for carbine yeah two to three wow that's that's huge it's huge 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 and here now we are talking more power for landing Okay, the landing can is here. Great, so it's easier. Oh, even you have a ladder. Okay, great, but you can land on those engines. You don't need this. And you have here a go home stage. Yes, it's a go home stage. So he decided to have an extra docking port because, okay, this uses monopropellant, so we, will, we can leave it, but this doesn't use monopropellant at all. So here you don't need it and yeah great but overkill total overkill and um, in this case what else can i say overkill is an overkill and still inefficient please remember total delta v in space is 6.6 .6, yeah this is what we got here he calculated this even here I think for the moon, let's go to Delta V, Caribbean sea level, yeah, okay, so he has it. So 1,500, yeah, that's, everything is correct, so yeah. he really gained as much as he could, but it didn't mm, gave him that much as, as you think. It's really not that efficient, yeah. Vacuum, of course, 7.5. But we are talking Kerbin first here. And of course, we are calculating this for, for the vacuum as well. So for us, atmospheric stage for the beginning is of course here as well, but it's recalculating the possible ascent. So but let's go for the moon as it should be. It's still not that efficient. Yeah? At the end, it will be seven point something. It will go here and there and it will be good but we got better results with the mark ii than with this one and it's half the price yeah okay so let's go for the minmus that is easier to land than moon and go back that we have here and also overkill yeah it's still the same design so it's a design that we had for the moon i think mark one or two Mark Mark two, I think. Yeah, so good design, seven point three, very good one. A little different. Okay, for minimus, you can do it this way. It will be stable enough. You can even flip your vehicle when it's wrongly landing, 
with a SAS, if he, he would just give one SAS here, but he has two SASs here, so it's okay. And so this could be good, but like, like I said, those can be put somewhere here on the top and to give the more uh, aerodynamic uh, design. And of course doing here double equipment is not helping anyone in any way. You will not gain twice a science, so why do it? To gain more mass? Yeah, it's wrong. And even if you have this like here, put it like here, like this. Better, better. Of course, let's do it double. This can be done, yeah? Of course, we should use not too much uh, the conics just to have it more aligned. It's not cheating if it's just more aerodynamic, just a little, that it's having proper alignment with the craft, yeah? I'm not counting that as cheating because I'm not hiding it inside in any way it's just more adapted to the to the um, to the craft, yeah. And this really doesn't need to be here. It really can be anywhere here on the craft, somewhere. But it's not uh, my decision to go. You can even, if you want, please have a uh, please see here. This is totally removable, yeah. So you can put it really here because you will not need it later. And of course, no monopropellant needed. So I would put it here, more. Ah, almost got it. As uh, so when they go out, yeah, they would be already uh, more efficient. So let's put A here. And of course, you are going to the minimus, yeah? 140 TVR command. You don't need those. You don't need most of it because it's just not needed. And you see your TVR is going up if you lose the dead weight. That's really not needed. That's the most important thing. This is this stage is the fourth stage. Of course, let's correct the staging as it's uh, yeah, probably somewhere wrong. Okay, this is good, this is good, and those are good as well, very good. So this is a higher, yeah. So if you want to be more efficient, fuel lines, please. Use fuel lines, yeah. From here to here, you will drop those tanks. So you want to be fast and efficient on sea level. So the faster you go up, it's good, but then of course, you need to drop them, yeah? And you see, are we already gaining uh, like 100 meters? Am I correct? No, only a few meters, but still. It's only 30 or something meters per second. But still very, very good on carbine side. And you see, the lower the weight here on this stage, this is stage six. So we are here. When we drop this, then we will get, oh, this is stage five, six, seven. Seven is dropping those tanks, so we are still with this. Then we are dropping this, starting those three. This is stage six, so the next stage is dropping them. So it's stage five, and we have very low TVR. So in this case, the longer they burn in may be better. But of course it's less efficient, but for the TVR purposes, it can be much better. But let's calculate how much Delta V we used so far. To level five, we have already 4.2 meters per second. So I would say we are already in orbit, more or less. We should be already in orbit before we drop those tanks. So the TVR is not that important. This is what I would say at this level on the level four so the next one because you see this is the level four of staging then we are definitely already encountering moon and circularizing and we can even use this to oh wait minimus we are already on minimus circularizing and we definitely have many few left to do whatever we need we can even land on this this one we can land on this engine this is a, what I would say. Of course, we will need to drop this totally and this would be very wasteful. Yeah.
but yeah, this is uh, I would let more do four of those that would be more efficient than having that high uh, rocket here because it's just uh, less efficient yeah but this is what what needs to be done and let's have it done okay this is our staging so maybe from five to four so this is the four so we are starting this so let's have it like let's have it less yeah let's have less of that okay see still very efficient only 700 so circularization more but here then we can just go for three of those and boom much better yeah much better still option to go down etc to grab whatever is needed so this is the one thing and of course we can just do it uh, differently we don't really need that much of that fuel but yeah, we can use it as always and we can do asparagus here so we can use like four of them with asparagus so let's do it like asparagus way mm, i think this is the proper one yep so we have it and this is landable so no landing legs needed really you can land on the engines the engines are efficient because the seven meters per second impact still very high tvr it's for carbon it's still very very high and of course we can stage this as well so we can have this and this put here those are the two ones that will go first so we can put a fuel line here between this one to this one and between this one to this one and we are gaining much more than we had earlier so this design is much much better so that, that's the one thing and like i said i would put those scientist uh, stuff in a normal uh, cargo bay here but let's leave it on this design so we made progress here from what what was it seven ish it costs less definitely and uh, more oh wait oh it costs the same ah this is minus ah here it is it costs more even <laughs> but really we don't need that kind of staging at the beginning but let we just fix the most important the what happens after starting yeah so we are here so it was 8.4 now let's go again to the minimus lander just to see what was it it was 7.3 so we gained like over 1000 meter per second with uh, my design yeah just making this shorter so it's more efficient when ascending because it's shorter design so it's more uh, you need less uh, gimbal to to have it uh, going straight up etc it will not flip that easily and if you have a replacement for the landing legs etc etc so and you can hop with this design multiple times on the minmus because you can even land on two of them yeah because you have sas here it will always go prograde uh, or retrograde if you are landing in this case and you will always do it very slick and uh, very nicely without any issues so this is what i have for for those designs i hope this was some kind of uh, helpful for all of you because uh, it's not that i like to mock someone or, or be very critical about the designs that other make I just want to show you a better way of doing this because we want all to learn something based on the technology we have and this is his technology that he is having so the most important thing is what he can do with that technology and now I will load my craft that I have somewhere and you will see my early early access 
uh, on the career mode or it was uh, science mode I think early science mode with more or less boosters going to the moon and back and really small engines so it will even for lower uh, lower uh, science uh, availability than it's here so just wait a moment and I'm back so this is the design I was talking about this is what I designed and of course we have here major differences he doesn't have the boosters yet but you see the design change here this is my most of the going to low kerbal orbit stage this is circularization stage really with some delta v but both of those two stages those first stages are enough to go to real low kerbal orbit and be the the orbit uh, get the orbit uh, trajectories so it doesn't stay on the orbit and this is my really transfer stage the whole transfer stage and landing and coming back you see this small thing this small thing really goes to the moon orbits the moon lands on the moon and get back and this is for seven ker kerbals seven wow yeah this is efficient designing and this goes as landing legs and this those uh, those fins as well helps steering during ascent yeah those are landing legs for carbine when we are going back really this is how it is designed and so the simpler the better and regarding the costs right it costs 100,000 so more or less what our colleague uh, provided us with his own crafts but the cost is of course regarding boosters engines etc so the things that we will lose on the mission and of course there are no signs here but adding signs will not uh, jeopardize the mission because we have more than 8000 delta v in total and very good tvrs for the first and second stage and we really don't need to have that much of staging here as well so this is very important and yeah and well, we have extra sas here sorry that's it so if we would lose this and the boosters let's do that let's lose that uh, grid fins let's lose the boosters so you i landed on moon with those three engines aligned there is a video for that uh, if i remember i will put a, a marker here somewhere uh, on the screen or here somewhere on the screen so you can click on it and of course uh, here let's let's change those boosters to what he has so is is it uh, what engines does he has he has the main hull or a uh, main main cell okay correct so he doesn't have those uh, valve hounds i think no he does not have them so let's let's redesign this to his level of tech of course he can buy those engines and re-redesign it of course let's see what will this do for us this will give us still good tvr and for the moon three point something <laughs> who could do this better i don't know okay we have this we have this we have this we have caps he doesn't have the batteries yet he doesn't have the SAS, so let's remove the SAS. The batteries, I think, will come very shortly. But let's let's leave him with the SAS. He has, I think, those tanks. Yeah. No. Those are the tanks. Yeah, he has the tanks, so they are not the problem. Yeah, everything that's here, he has. So far, maybe not the parachute. No, he has the parachute. Okay. So let's have it on his level is there anything yet more i don't think so okay we can then put here the sas as well because we don't have the other one to make it look better or better to use it better okay we will remove those rings as well let's put it really 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 on his level of technology 
So this is the one thing that we will have here. And this is uh, again doubled here somewhere. Yep. Okay, we have two. We can put more. We can put here extra one. And we can put here extra one as well. And now we can put the SAS on top. So yeah, we have power. We have power. So here I remove the monopropellant, but for his sake, I will give it back. He doesn't have any electrical charge. So what can we do? It's not needed even. I could uh, verify the the panel was totally not needed. So he can remove this crew cabin with the big, well, let's do it for him. Let's remove this, this crew cabin with a bigger science bay so he can use it definitely let's put his all science that he has in the science bay yes this is how we do this so this is 0.2 this is 0 0.5 okay we can give him two even of those just for balance i would say and of course we don't need two of those but let's let's give him a, a slide here that he can use it better. Okay. Oh. And he has twice of equipment. Great. And we still have space for whatever we need. And of course, uh, oh wait, we have this and this. Hmm, maybe let's do it different way because Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. See, good plan is always better than no plan at all. So let's take it outside for a second. Let's see, I, did I did it? No, I did not do it correctly. Uh, it should be here, more or less. This way up, okay. Now I did correctly, yep. Now it's correct, okay. Because it's barely touching on the bottom, but so it's hanging from the top. But we can, of course, do it opposite side, hopefully. We can do it the opposite side as well. Uh, it's not allowing us, but that's that's also good. Maybe it will, will be for the best. Hopefully for the best. But okay, as we have it, we can even add two struts just in case so it doesn't break apart when we do anything. So let's let's give him like two of them here, like here, and let's do it like here. Okay, so it doesn't break. Yeah. So we have it. We have everything what we need. Of course, I will advise to use more experimental stuff, but this is just for information purposes. Okay, let's flip it a little. Or maybe not. Now we need to be able to go down and up. So let's give here a ladder as well. More or less. A good ladder. From both sides. No, we just need it from one side. Of course, we can use it from both sides. But we need only one side. And this is one side ladder. Okay. Let's uh, have it this way yeah so it looks better <laughs> okay we have it here so we have our science and everything else here already attached we are good so it's on the level of the player and of course here it's not on the level of the player but who will say no to that no one because we will do it workable everything needs to be matching so we will match it and of course the blower tank is also not needed but let's let's have it let's have it just in case so i think now it will be grabbable hopefully because it would be then not nice not to be able to get in but if we jump up with the kerbal we are we have a possibility to jump onto the ladder as well so i would not say it's total problem for this 
So let's give it here a little slap on the wrist so it goes smoothly somehow, hopefully, yeah, ish. Okay, yeah, more or less good. Okay, yeah, workable, I would say. And I would even add one more just to have them option to enter the vehicle. Yeah. So let's let's give it a try, a better try. Yeah. So I think now it's the best option that we have. That is workable for all the kerbals that we know of. Okay. Three can. Uh, three uh, crew can. And we have six points something something we still need boosters yeah and of course if we have that kind of design we can make it this way we can enter here smaller boosters four of them so let's use it this is the tallest one kickback i think the 70 20. okay this i think will be the best he has Yes, 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 10. So yeah, we have a booster here that is capable of going where we want. Okay, we have it lower, still we need to have it lower. Not this, only the booster. Okay, let's have it lower for stability. And of course, let's give him a cap. A bigger cap. Mm. Well, we don't have a bigger cap. That's a problem. But we have that. So let's use it. And boom. We have boosters. So we have aim point for Delta V. So this is unique, good design. Why not? It's capable of going to multiple places. Moon, Minmus, choose your poison, really. And uh, I cannot tell you anything more because it's already been tested. Watch the video and for our colleague for who I dedicate this, uh, this material and all of you that are still wondering how to go to the moon and back I hope this helps and uh, you can see as we have smaller design, really smaller design, look like how small it is. It's not that tall. It's more, uh, mm, it's less flipping during the ascent mode. It will be more durable for that ascent mode uh, from the uh, sea level to any uh, height. height. So yeah. Great. For those that are not using ad advanced trans, uh, advanced tweakables with auto struts, I use here two struts just in case for you. So you can feel much safer. And that's it. Nothing more. And here you can see I have three of them and really don't need to have three of them. I can even go this way. And I have 9.4. See? 9.4. And this is the end design. So really you can land on the moon, on the Minmus, multiple times. And still be capable of yeah, doing whatever you need. For all of you who would like to be, he, be able to do more. This is what I would even give you here. Wait, wait, I will give you one, one more thing. I will give you landing legs. <laughs> this is what I would do right now. I will give you landing legs. So this is the engine. Yeah, let's add some mass here. Okay, this is the engine and we have here two parts. Oh, come on. So this, uh, those are the landing legs for us right now so let's go to the other side let's even go high 
because we really don't need to go low, we need to go high, and we can even go this way, ah, even better. So let's do this. So now we designed landing legs that are really no, no landing legs at all, but are aerodynamic and more durable than you think. Really? Okay, let's go below the line of the engine. They are not even touching the engine and yeah, that's it. You can land on those. They are more, uh, they have more stability and with that I oh, lost like 100 meters per second but still it's workable I will leave you this design uh, to be downloaded I will give all the designs to the owner of course and of course I will give you the other rescue ranger design so the moon rescue ranger craft so this one as well for download for testing as you want and uh, yeah nothing else needs to be done you see I could do better but this should be cheaper <laughs> if you would have a look here the rescue rangers costs here 100,000 and this is only 63,000 yeah so yeah there is of course for some uh, designs uh, radio decoupler Oh, I'm not having this radial decoupler. Oh, I would do a mistake here. Wait, wait. We need to exchange the radial decouplers as well. So, um, yeah, almost, almost have it. <laughs> and yeah. So, how, how, as you see, I'm always ca almost capable of doing this as I should. <laughs> Just still need to adapt a little just a little yeah on um, the sea level yeah, it's too high still okay now it should be good so now it's a uh, design adapted to the colleagues uh, needs now let's see the rescue ranger i did do this save 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 now it's yeah now it's correct yeah so 97,000, it, it's much maneuverable, much better, etc, etc. This is, this is more, uh, better design I would recommend for the, for the player, because it's really easier to, to do and less staging and good landing legs and uh, yeah, everything and everything. Let's just, just remove this wrong staging as well, so we can get the proper Delta V. Okay, now we are good. And that's it. It's less pointy, it's less shiny, but costs more. This was Dotsend, uh, and for everybody who likes this video, please like it, comment, share, and of course, if you are not yet uh, subscribers, please subscribe. This really helps me. This uh, uh, this is a appreciation. Uh, information for me that you like what I do and uh, it helps you a lot um, with that information I can only say uh, thank you for watching and till the next trip let me know what other tutorials you would you like to see bye